Hello there, I'm Minefiend. This is Anno 2070 and it's a single player campaign, Architect of the Future. Single player scenario, sorry. Architect of the Future. Don't tell me. You made it, didn't you? Uh, I did, there you Hopefully go. Hopefully things will go just as smoothly next time. A second part to the quest? Eight tons of copper? Really? Well, not just yet. I did say I'd do Debbie's next. Got to pick that up from his arc. Right, now, in the last episode we got the supply chains for the service bots being made. Still just waiting for it to pick up on the, the goods and everything. But it will begin to produce them. From here, round this way, and then in. There we go. I am relying on your assistance. Mm -hmm. It would only be logical for you to accept this mission. Okay. Where do you want me to go? You want me to go down here? Up to about there? So, that means... Warning. Production halted. ...that these guys should then get happy and fill up to the 1,400. But I should have enough supply. Now I'm going to need power. How much power does the... Uh... It takes 80 power. Eighty power. Okay. In that case, then, what I might do is put in one of these. And uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, six for the for the fields. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six that way. And then it's another six as well, isn't it? Three, four, five, six. Oh, I hope that's right. You took some real risks for the group, thank you. Really? The whole group admires your determination. What a good idea. I'm keeping you happy, aren't I, Leon? <laughs> well, that's part of being the Ecos. I suppose he would be much more of a problem doing this if he was the... Uh, if he was the Tycoons. Faster! Thread the needle here. We have only a short window. There you go. So I presume that's got to go back to him. Come back to here. Yeah, if you had the Tycoons, this would be a much more difficult mission because Leon would be more of a pain. Much more of a pain. In there quick. <laughs> the beauty the of having two thirty percent engines. <laughs> Lovely. Right. Yana needs eight tons of copper. Might be able to get that from here, I'm not sure. Will I have it here? I will, yes.
So I think I'm going I'm in a position now to put down the foundation. Looks like I am. Now this stage, I think the first stage is going to require tools and blocks, which we've got in adequate supply. So let's put down a depot to keep it supplied. Let's make sure all the streets around here are nice and fast. Just do those while I can see them. I don't have to bother rotating the map. And let's break ground. Let's put the foundation down. You can really get things cooking. Make an old man happy and allow me to stop by here every now and again. Yes, Seamus. Welcome. Please open the monument. Naturally. Right. Innocent, tell that to the judge. No. The monument... There seems to be some problems on the site. No, there isn't. They're just being delivered. Don't, don't get your knickers in a twist. There's no problems on this site. We've got plenty. Uh... The sure monument the the has the stages that it needs to be built in. Like the next stage is going to require one, uh, 300 tools, 160 blocks. 300 tools, 160 wood. 300 tools, 160 glass. Which is why I went to the trouble of upgrading the size of the island's storage. So everything it should need is there. The wood and the glass will... The wood is already there. The glass is, is being produced. Should be ready when it needs it. I hope it doesn't fall. <laughs> so really, it's just a matter of time now. Now, <laughs> unfortunately, that is the key. Time. Because... Each stage of this monument can take a while. I think one of the stages can take 80 minutes. Is that construction site finished yet? Um, and there's my dilemma. It's a case of, well, what do I do now? Do I just say, well, I'll put cuts in? I don't want to do that. I, I don't, because... Let's build it gets you to the goal quickly. Yeah, the goal. Complete the monument. Finish. So I could just put a cut here. Put a next, next, you know, fade in where it starts the next phase, fade in where it starts the next phase. But then, I would imagine everybody else does that. But to me, part of that is then, well, why bother showing it at all? You know, you're cutting out two hours worth of gameplay, three hours, you know, uh, you're, you might as well then say, right, well, I'll put. I'll start the map. I'll put a cut in when I've got the not enough population to get the, the employees. I'll put another cut in when I've got enough population to get the uh, engineers. You'll. See, I'll see me again. And you could do it all in a five-minute episode if you're going to put cuts in. I suppose. I suppose there is a balance. There's a fine balance. There is places where it, it it's worth doing. But you see, all sorts of things could crop up during this. We could hit power shortages, we could hit supply shortages, um, people could begin to plummet with the demands. Um, now hopefully I've done enough preparation to take care of that and make sure it doesn't happen. But it could do. Eight tons of copper. Per island, okay. So we want twenty-four. Let's come to this island first. Uh, yeah, so you know, <laughs> I do say I do keep including all the blurbs for these. This is a long play, and I'm quite sure that you will not still be watching if you. Uh, 
Oh, I don't think anybody would be watching, to be honest. But I don't, I don't think you'd be still watching if you weren't prepared to sit through that. Because it is a, it's a part of the game. Uh, for instance, one of the other games I played a lot of is Minecraft. And on Minecraft, most Let's Players will say, like, you know, welcome back, start the episode, and... Um, they will have gathered all the resources they need for the build that they're going to do. They'll start the build. They'll tell you what they're going to do. They'll start the build. You'll cut back, show you some more of it done. And you miss out on a lot of the gameplay. Like, with that, resource gathering is a huge part of the, of the process. And there's an argument to be made for the fact that um, it's not necessary then to show this because... You know, the resource gathering part is what the players will be doing themselves and they just want to see what it looks like when it's finished, etc, etc. I totally agree. Quite right. But I like to see entire gameplay. You know, I like to see the game as it would be really played by me. So just seeing the quick cuts and everything. in a way gives gives me a false impression of what the game is and what it's like and how long it takes to play it etc 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 designed nice to be environmentally friendly exemplary lovely all fully supplied no problem whatsoever search successful so the last island to be searched is this one so we'll come to this part here because this is nearest to The construction plans for the building are truly impressive. Oh, I'm glad you like them. Let's take that off there. Can I bring that down there? Good. I could actually. Drag these guys up here. Yana, where are you? I'm counting on you, so don't screw up. And then if I want them, they're on there. I like that. That's a better way of having that. I quite like that now. My power. Get my power there. So it's just a case of, you know, it... it each to their own and there are many many well I'm saying many there's, <laughs> there's a few <laughs> not, not many people play I know it's surprising uh, there's a few LPs out there where you will get to see what you need to see um, in the cut format and the quicker format and That goes back to what I always say is that time is a precious resource that people don't often consider. Back already? All yep. done? This job was made for you. Really? You're going to give me another one? You darn woman. Green will be Where putting some pressure on Eden headquarters if this doesn't work. Where do you go? Uh, time is a precious resource. Now, a lot of people wouldn't have the time to sit and watch the future is a long play like this. And it's not designed for those sorts of people. It, it's actually designed only for me, I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> I fully don't intend anybody to watch this. Narlo might, because he's a loyal friend. who shouldn't be doing it. But um, beyond that, what my aim with the videos I put up at the moment is entirely, entirely a case of recording my um, gameplay history. I do go back and watch old games I've played. I've sat through my Sniper Elite V2 playthrough a couple of times. Um, I like to watch The Sleeping Dogs and, and it's nice to go back and relive it um, 
and see how I did things differently in those days. I mean, even now with these anodes, game saved. Uh, if you've watched these anodes from the beginning, you'll notice I evolved, I've evolved quite considerably, and it's actually only within the space of a month, maybe, um, since I started putting up these at this point here. And already I do things very differently. Look, I mean, I have this laid out much more different. I have stuff on here in set ways I like. Um, my trade routes are usually quite different. This is a bit, this is a bit odd. This one because it's not a continuous world. It's a, um, it's a scenario. So I'm not doing it the way I would normally do it. Normally I would. If I was doing this as a continuous world, I'd set up the tools to come round to every island, the blocks to come round to every island, uh, the wood to go to every land island uh, on trade routes. So everything is supplied and everything's got lots of storage. Communicators are emptying a little bit. How are we doing for service bots? Why have you got tools and blocks on there? Oh, because I didn't empty you off when I first took them over. That's why it is. Okay. Right. That's not helping. Let's try and remember to take those off. Uh, so, you know, it's interesting to me. And that's what I'm doing it for. I did get sucked into Minecraft into doing it for other people. Um, when, at the time, I, I needed a break from it. But I was still doing it because that's what viewers wanted. And there's a whole topic to be talked about, I suppose, in um, on YouTube of just why do people do it? Um, what are you looking to get out of it, etc, etc. Oops. Yeah, that'll do. Um, and the majority are looking for subscribers. I'm not particularly, uh, because they want subscribers to um, to grow the channel. Uh, a lot of people want it because they are um, looking to... I got that road connected? Uh, it is, yeah, it's just the trees are in the way. Yep. Uh, they, they're looking to, you know, make a channel, get lots of subscribers, hopefully make money at doing this. None of that um, is anything I'm interested in. my very first channel um, I I did I wanted to you know you want to get a lot of people watching you want to people to to share in the process with you etc etc and I got that by my standards and I found it didn't I thought it would fulfill something that it didn't and couldn't do and it was only like with second one, my second channel really that I realised, no, nah, actually I'm doing this for me. It's a hobby. It's not. A, I'm not monetizing the videos. I'm not putting uh, ads on uh, or anything like that. This is entirely um, a record, a record of of my games. Let's connect that through properly, I think. Then everything's connected right back. That'll have an even more. That should have four now. Yep, that's got four. And that's what it's become. And, it, and it's so much better now. Um, I did. Why are you not getting enough? Did I not put enough in? Or is it just the boat's full of something? Oops, nope, nope, nope. 
Pick up. Pick up. Drop off. Have I got it wrong? Have I got the things wrong? The proportions wrong? Manganese, manganese. Rare earth, rare earth. Yeah, that should be right. Not sure why it isn't. Probably because it, it's not produ well, I don't know, it should be producing enough. I'll leave it for the time being and see if it catches up. There's a strong sense that everyone here believes in your vision. Thank you, Shemus. You're a really nice man. <laughs> this is Nalo to me. <laughs> I always think of uh, the gnome. <laughs> because it looks like he's Minecraft skin. So, Nalo, the, the naked gnome. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I mean that that's basically it. This is done now for totally different reasons than I, I started YouTube I suppose with. Um, I've talked about that long time ago that I started YouTube to put up tutorials for Supreme Commander uh, because there wasn't the tutorials that I needed there. There was tutorials for anything you wanted on YouTube apart from what I wanted. Uh, so in the end I had to figure it out myself and share it that way. Still not satisfied. In that case, then let's deny them service bots for the time being. Because there must not be any being brought in. Are they being made? I've got the biopolymers. Biopolymers haven't got enough algae. Have I got my... Uh Portions wrong. Ah, I bet I have. Yes, I've only got two algae farms, haven't I? That's only enough to run one. Registering settlement of an island. See, you didn't ask that time, did you, Tilda? Four. Five, six. That's where I'm going wrong. Just in case I want to go through that gap there, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's where I'm going wrong. I need two per chain and I'm only supplying enough for one chain. And I've got two chains there. Is it? No. No. That's not right. I know it's it's two algae farms to two biopolymers. Have I not got the ah, but I've not got the algae being dropped off, have I not? Let's have a look. Service bots. That's what it is. Stupid! <laughs> See, there's always a, a nice little detail missing. That's what it is. It's just not being dropped off. Stupid. 
Right. Well, that will make a difference now. Then it will all it will all um, fill up again. <laughs> so what's that? Half an hour wasted with uh, it not being produced. But it will. It will now. Designed to be environmentally friendly. Exemplary. Yeah, exemplary. So really we should be approaching the, the halfway street. mark. I don't want to stir up a fuss. Stationary target identification system. Doesn't sound like anything I want that, Ibashi, to be quite honest. It sounds like something military. But I'll do it. Oops, I've, ah! <laughs> Quick, do the quest. Right, take that to Yana's Ark. Put the engine back in. Let's pick up the tools on the way past. Let's actually go to here. Pick up the tools. Anyone interested in a good deal? Yeah, trench coat. You smelly pirate. I don't suppose you've got an Alwinikanian catalyst on you, have you? That. Not for that one. And not for that one. Might take that though. What have I got plugged in on this island? I've already got two plugged in, yeah, no. Because if I do decide to have the... Uh, to make a hydroelectric dam, or if I get the chance to make a hydroelectric dam, then uh, I would need that last slot. I'd have to get geniuses otherwise to open up the other slots, and I'm not doing that. Ibashi wanted 16 tons of tools. There's the ship. Come to that. As always with Ibashi, it's a submarine, so let's go down for it. And then take these back up to Yana's Ark. But we're well on the way to the completion of the first part. It is part certainly of the... no coincidence. Thank, Thank you. You have done more for us. Thank you. Yep. I didn't think I'd want that, but what I can do is I can sell that to uh, Trenchy. Yeah, I've still got more parts to her quest because she's not offering me a reward for doing that. So I will, I'll sell this to Trenchy on the way past for Yana. It's gigantic. And our foundations are well on the way. We employ here. Is that construction site finished yet? And it's great to watch these things. I mean, look at this. You've got guys walking around carrying uh, girders. You've got little bots uh, supplying them. You've got fellows with the tool belts. You've got welders. Um, if I go into pause card mode, look at the place. You know, guy on the front there with his hammering and he's getting up and now walking around again. And you've got guys inside welding the pillars and the, the, the conveyor um, bots are going along the gantry. and Just so much going on. Beautiful, the cranes wandering around. I love this game. I've, I've really developed quite um Designed to be environmentally friendly. Yes. Exemplary. Quite a... a Everything ship shape. Thank you. A love of... Deal. The work and time and effort that... that um, 
designers have put into the to the games Game saved. over the last six months or so. You know, um, games like GTA 4 with the Terrific. huge Liberty, Liberty City and the unending amount of content you can find. Are you smiling because you completed the quest? Not bad, but circumstances have changed. Right, and all you're going to do gives me rough deep sea coordinates while I'll sell those to Trenchy too. Um, 12 tons of iron. Where will I get that from? I don't think I've got that over here. Oh, I have. Yeah. Okay. Let's just come here and do it and then finish this, this episode because it's now overrunning. Um... Yeah, the, this game, like, the level of detail, there was no need to put those little gantry bots going left and right on the on the construction yard, or the guys inside welding, you know. It's all these details that you, you don't even need, or don't see. Like, look there at the, the spinning logo for the Eden Initiative on the communicator factories. You know, the steam rising out of some of these buildings, the spinning wheels, and the actual, on the on top of that, if you can look, you can see the, the girder frames, the, the superstructure of it all, and the, the copper being churned out of it, just the birds flying past over there, and, and so much, you know, a lot of love, time, and effort has gone into to these games and it's really really nice really nice we'll get there and then we'll take go head over towards trench cut and we'll be able to sell it to him on the next episode just to keep him happy um, you know it, it it's stuff that's not normally you don't take the time to appreciate because you're too busy jumping around the corner and shooting the alien in the face and um, dodging the enemy and uh, you don't stop to look at the the game or to appreciate the vast quantity of it. I mean, you do you do see it. You do see. Are you smiling because you completed? Hey, a person can count on you. Yes, I did. I don't want these. I don't want them at all. Um, you know, you do you do see the work that's gone into a game, but sometimes if you stop and peer, you'll see more. And there's layers, like an onion. You know, there's layers and layers of of, of quality that's in there. Oh, it's you. We'll swap you that. No, I don't want those. Pleasure doing business. We drop back to a thousand. You have. Oh, wait, wait till the next episode. Right, I've overrun there, so I'll say um, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> uh, I do appreciate it. I wonder how many people Designed to be environmentally We're well over friendly. halfway now exactly. on the, the first layer of foundation. On the foundations, anyway. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. I've been Mindfiend. You guys, as always, have been wonderful. Bye for now.